Great. I'd like to uh, call the meeting to order. This is the School District of Waukesha. It's uh, Monday, April 25th. Uh, tonight we have our uh, board reorganization meeting. Each year um, we uh, choose our officers roughly about this time of the year, just shortly after the election. So um, I'd like to welcome our new board members, Mark and Markel and Carrie, uh, to, to the boardroom. And uh, before we get rolling, we're going to have to take the roll call. Sue, will you please do that? Mark Borowski? Here. Corey Montillo? Here. Carrie Kozlowski? Here. Markel Moore? Here. Kelly Piasek? Here. Patrick McCaffrey? Here. Anthony Zenobia? Here. Karen Reinecek? Here. Joseph Como? Here. And have we been properly posted, Sue? Yes, we have. Okay, thank you. So, um, what I'd like to do uh, before we get started on the, the election of our officers is just go through the process and the guidelines as to how we go about doing this. And I'm going to start with this, this first page that has uh, one through four on. Um, basically, the first thing that happens um, is we'll make a nomination, and then that needs to have a second to the nomination. And um, we will have a ballot that we'll fill out for our votes. Okay, and if, if in the first round we have a clear majority, in this case it's five, um, we'll know who has, has won. If we don't have a clear majority, let's say it's three, three, and let's say we have three nominations, in three seconds uh, for a position, and let's say it was three, three, and three, we're gonna go to another round. Um, let's say it was four, four, and one, we would still go to another round on that, um, on that position. And we'll, do, we'll continue to have rounds of voting until we have a clear winner, okay? Does that make sense? We have these color-coded, president is orange, vice president is green, Treasure blue and clerk is, is, is yellow. Um, now looking at the second page with the, the five items, the, the ballots um, will be confidential. There's very few times that we have confidential voting on, on this kind of ballots, as you know. Um, most of our votes are, are verbal. Sometimes they're roll call. Sometimes they're just uh, all at once. Uh, as, you've, as you've witnessed before. Um, the secretary, who is Sue, will count uh, the balance, ballots and announce the results. Uh, officers will be elected by the majority of the board present, which is all of us, which is good. Nominations uh, are seconded, which is a tradition of the board, but uh, board members, just so you know, if you nominate someone and you sec or, and or second that nomination, you don't have to vote for that person, so you're not required to do that. You may, if you can if you want, though. So, um, If there's only one nomination, we have a process where um, it's not necessary to actually Write out, write out the vote. We can have a motion to close the nominations and to cast the vote unanimously, uh, followed by a second. Uh, and then it would just be a roll call vote by Sue. So that's if there's just one person nominated for a position. And as I had mentioned before, we'll continue the rounds of balloting until we have a clear, a clear winner. So what we typically have done and what we'll continue to do is we will first elect the president and then we'll elect the vice president, the treasurer, and the clerk, and then the secretary. Um, just uh, one thing, um, one of the things that we've liked to do in the past, and it's something that helps process in our, just our daily, daily routine, Usually we like to have the clerk uh, have a, some flexibility in being able to come down to sign papers. That's one of the responsibilities of the clerk. There's many things to sign. Um, 
So, and in, in, in actually, what I would do is ask if there are any questions about any of the, the positions before we get going as to what the duties are. Okay, all right. I'm sorry, Sue. Can I just make one clarification with the votes? If there are, say, three people that they're voting for and there's no clear majority, but we would take the two highest voters and then the next vote oh. goes to the two highest. Thank you, Sue. Three. Yeah, I did skip that, didn't I? Thank you. That is correct. All right, well, let's start with um, the president. Are there any nominations for the president? Markel. I nominate Kelly Piasek for president. Okay, is there a second to that? Second by Anthony. Any other nominations for president? Nominate Joe Como. Okay, is there a second to that? Second. Second by Karen. Any other nominations for president? Okay, seeing none, let's uh, cast our votes for the presidency. We have a clear majority, Kelly Piasek. Congratulations, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Moving on to uh, Vice President. Any nominations for Vice President? Ms. Carey? I would like to nominate Anthony Zenobia. Is there a second for Anthony? Second by Karen. Any other nominations for Vice President? Ms. Karen? I nominate Mr. Montijo. Okay. Mr. Montijo? Is there a second for Mr. Montijo? Second by Kelly? Any other nominations for Vice President? Okay, so we will cast so Mr. Montillo and Mr. Zenobia will cast your votes for either of those. There's a clear major majority for uh, Anthony Zenobia. Congratulations, Anthony. <laughs> Moving on to uh, Treasurer. Any nominations? I have yes? a question. Yes. If there's something that someone nominates you for that you don't want, can you decline that? Yeah, you can decline a nomination. Yep, I, I should have explained that. Okay. But 
anyone can uh, decline a nomination, so, yeah. Is it too late, Kelly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay, for treasurer. Any nominations for treasurer? Yes, Kelly. I nominate Joe Como. Is there a second for that? Second by Carrie. Any other nominations for treasurer? Yes, Corey. Patrick McCaffrey. Is there a second to that? Second by Markel. Any other nominations for treasurer? All right. So let's take the vote on treasurer. That would be myself and Pat. Clear majority for Joe Como. Okay, thank you everyone. Appreciate that. Uh, moving on to the clerk. Any more help? I nominate Carrie Kozowski for clerk. Is there a second to that? I'll second that. Okay, saying by Mark. Any other nominations for clerk? Okay, I'd be looking for a motion to close nominations and voting for a unanimous ballot. So moved. Is there a second to that? Seconded by Kelly. Okay, Sue, take the roll call vote on that. Corey Montiel. Aye. Mark Borowski. Aye. Patrick McCaffrey. Aye. Karen Reinacek. Aye. Anthony Zenobia. Aye. Markel Moore. Aye. Carrie Kozlowski. Aye. Kelly Piasek. Aye. Joseph Como. Aye. Passes 9 0. Congratulations. And then the final position is secretary. Do we have any nominations for secretary? Yes. Kelly? I'd like to nominate Sue Ettinger. Is there a second to that? Second by Carrie. I just want to thank God that someone nominated Sue. <laughs> Please don't decline. <laughs> <laughs> Any other nominations for secretary? Please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at this time I'd be looking to close nominations and to offer a unanimous vote via roll call vote. So moved. So moved by Corey. Is there a second? Second by Kelly. Okay, Sue, please take the roll call vote on yourself. <laughs> you like being yourself. Carrie Kozlowski. Aye. Karen Reinacek. Aye. Corey Montiel. Aye. Patrick McCaffrey. Aye. Kelly Piasek. Aye. Mark Borowski. Aye. Anthony Zenobia. Aye. Markel Moore. Aye. Joseph Como. Aye. Passes 9 0. Congratulations, Sue. Oh, thank you. And congratulations to all of our new officers. That is all that we have to do this evening, so we stand adjourned. <laughs>